so it's a nine five so we'll start session okay so first of all welcome everyone for this internship program as you showed interest that's why we added you in the whatsapp group and there we shared session related details so instead of solving individual queries what we decided that we will bring you everyone in the same platform where we can you can ask your queries also we will provide what internships are available at uh, j career hub and it's a uh, connecting companies we have a few types with the companies and they can provide you the internship okay but it will be carried out with uh, help of j career hub just give your full attention so that you can get maximum benefit from this session and this session will be for next 60 minutes okay in one hour we will cover uh, all details about the program then uh, you can keep your mobile on silent mode so that you will not miss uh, uh, important part from the session also you can join this session using laptop or desktop okay so that for, you will get a better experience if you are joining from mobile then there are chances a uh, few text will look very smaller okay so that's why if you have not uh, joined using laptop or desktop and if you have it available you can log in with the same link on laptop or desktop okay then uh, you can note down all your queries and you can ask those queries at end of the session okay or you can ping us those queries on a whatsapp chat if uh, there is some problem in the chat you can ping uh, those in our uh, you can ping uh, us on the whatsapp okay you already have the j career hub number okay and if uh, due to any technical difficulties if session stuck okay from either from uh, our end or from your end so same session link will be valid okay you can use that link and join the session again then today uh, agenda for today's session is uh, you will get uh, details about uh, what is internship okay then why you should go through the internship program then uh, which benefits you get when you go through the internship uh, program then what you need to do in the internship when you apply for the internship when you start working on the internship then exactly what we, uh, you have to do and what company will do so those details you will get uh, uh, in this particular section then about uh, which programs available at j career hub you will get those details then types of internship there are different types of internship available where we provide uh, different level of uh, different services so that details i will provide you then how you can apply to these internships <clears throat> and at last we will have q and a session okay either if a uh, chat is not enabled uh, if, if admin has not enabled the chat then uh, what you can do you can ping your queries on uh, whatsapp or, or in one to one or I uh, just raise your hand. I can make you. Uh, I can give you access so that you can uh, ask your queries uh, directly. Okay. Then first thing is what is internship? If anyone is uh, uh, is uh, 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 going through their graduation and uh, if you are in final year, so you may heard this term internship, but you don't know exactly what we do in that internship. It's only for them because already if you are already passed out uh, in the from the graduation, then you are looking internship outside. So actual standard definition of internship, it's a entry level work opportunity. Okay, offered to fresher. Internship is offered to only freshers. We don't provide internship to experienced person. Okay, <clears throat> now who is fresher? If you have just graduated, so you will be considered as fresher, or you have graduated few years back like uh, in 2022 or 2021 and after your graduation you did something else in a different field not related to it you have that experience and again you are searching job in it okay still you will be considered as fresher because whatever you work you worked on different technology different domain it's not if it is not related to it and you are trying to search job in it still you will be considered as fresher even though you have some gap of one year two years three years okay and uh, whatever experience you got in the different technologies the, the experience will not be considered while joining it you will be still considered as a fresher okay then when you go through internship you will get actual project experience exactly how project work goes in it companies so same kind of environment you will get uh, when you go through the internship also you will develop a job skill what is mean by job skill so whichever skills we need while working on a job, while working on an IT job, okay, like programming skills are there, soft skills are there, then we need to work in an environment, okay. So those details, those skills you will automatically develop. 
the next is why you should go through internship program because what ha- is happening now companies are preferring candidates who has already gone through internship already many companies are approaching uh, colleges and they are providing their internship in the colleges but if you have missed that opportunity or if you are already graduated and uh, you are searching a job then uh, you can go through the internship program and uh, why company prefer a candidate who has already gone through internship because it saves their training cost because when you join any it company they provide you training of uh, two months to, uh, from two months to six months okay they will give you knowledge on particular domain right and they spend uh, they need to spend on the infra they need to spend on the staff they need to give the uh, infrastructure also they will start paying you right it increases the company cost if ca- companies are getting candidates who are already expert in that particular domain like you are expert in uh, python you are expert in java you already have some basic knowledge then company prefer those candidates and most of the mnc's are also started uh, preferring who has candidates who has already done this internship A small scale company they are preferring candidates who has some experience on either from internship or their whatever project you created in your final year if it is aligned to their technology stack they will they prefer such candidates and when you go through the internship you will fa- be familiar with the work culture because college work culture is completely different and the it work culture is completely different then next is internship it will help you to get a job because i already told that company started preferring internship candidate over other candidates if you are not mentioning your internship experience in your resume or your linkedin profile then it will be very difficult to get your resume shortlisted for the interview many students are uh, going through this pain like uh, they are saying sir i am not getting interview call i applied for hundreds of job positions okay but i am not getting interview call because what happens in it company when they post a single job opportunity they get at least 300 to 400 resumes for three single job opportunities and if your resume is not selected then definitely you will not get an interview call now how and out of suppose we consider out of 400 uh, resumes you uh, only 40 uh, resumes will get shortlisted only 10 percent of resume will be get shortlisted and this 10 percent only will get call now if you are you in there the first 10 percent or how you can come in that that first 40 or the 10 percent uh, students so the main distinguishing factor is the internship okay that's why you should every fresher should go through the internship and when you do internship in colleges it's really difficult to complete it along with your college work because in college you have gathering as well as some you need to give assignments you need to give exams okay but uh, when you complete your graduation that time you can give your full time for the internship you will be completely focused on the internship that's why means already pass out students are preferred for the internship programs and they are serious because they, their main aim is to get a job and internship will hit, help you to get a job. You can explore different career path when you go through the internship. Like, uh, do you know exactly what kind of work we do in IT? Everyone knows like we do some programming, we have to work on a program. So it's not right. There are a lot of job roles available in IT. Few job roles are like uh, there we don't need to work on a programming as well okay like manual testing is there scrum data profiles are there or if you want to get a chance or to work on a servers or database management there we don't work on the programming okay so those different career paths you can explore and where you get that opportunity in the internship program you will understand whether you are exactly fit for the role or not okay and you can explore those paths if you are in your like uh, in college four year in this uh, graduation four year you understood like uh, what you like and in which technologies you want to search a job then for them it's perfectly fine you can choose the technology stack and search a job but those who are still not clear or those who are still in want to uh, explore different career paths they can understand exactly which paths they can choose
okay and there are i have already listed there are 15 kinds of roles available that details you will get on my blog okay or my linkedin post i if you want uh, you can ping me i will uh, you can ping on the j career hub number okay we will share that blog link with you when you go through the internship program you will get an internship certificate okay and when you add that certificate detail like you have gone through the internship program from two months to six months or uh, whatever duration you mentioned and what technologies you use even you mention all the details in your resume or on your linkedin profile you will your profile will be stand out from the crowd and that standout profile only will be preferred for interview or for the jobs okay is it clear till now if it's clear you can raise your hands okay great great uh thank you if you want you can take snapshot of this ppt as well because we will not be sharing this ppt you can take snapshot okay and uh, if there are you know, whatever important links are there we will share those links in our wa uh, whatsapp group if anyone is not there in the whatsapp you can ping on the j career hub number we will add you in the whatsapp group okay great next is uh, which benefits you get when you go through the internship you will be working in a team okay you will not work as an individual because you will get a similar environment for it in it you need to contribute as an individual okay you will be uh, do some productive work there will be some task assigned to you you have to work on that task and you have to give a report but at the end we have to be uh, we are a part of some teams okay and to get that habit like how to we work in a team what type of communication we do in a team okay how we coordinate within a team how we gather requirement what how we present our status in a stand-up call so all those environments you will get all those experience you will get when you work in a team so in this internship also you will be distributed in some teams and you have to coordinate with that at that team until you complete your project okay then next is the you will develop skills which will help you to get it job so what uh, skills are needed to get a job so mainly whatever skills are there it's divided into two categories okay first is the technical skills in which all programming languages databases okay it comes under technical skill like a c language is there cpp c sharp java python sql okay so all this comes under a technical skill also we call it as a hard skills okay these skills are needed but along with it you need a few soft skills as well because you cannot uh, without soft skill you cannot work in it if you consider one big mnc company their team is distributed in different locations some are far some are working uh, in different states of the india and few your clients are sitting uh, from in different countries and also few members of your team is working in the uh, in, at the client location or on the on site so to coordinate with them you cannot use your local language you have to use the standardized method like email communication is there or you need to set up a proper standard call you have to present it in all details professionally and whatever discussions you are doing you need to send mom mm is the minutes of meeting whatever points you discuss what is the conclusion of those meetings you need to share all these things with the team or share those status with your manager or who is the person senior uh, person assigned to you you need to give that reporting to him so whatever skills are needed those comes in a soft skill like communication is there adaptability is there like uh, are you adaptable to technological changes like uh, every thing it is very dynamic okay every time you need to work on a new new requirement and all most of the time you will be allocated a few works then you have proper email communication how to write email how to take follow up on those email how to talk professionally then in meeting also you need to uh, give status in point wise only you cannot uh, discuss on uh, random topics okay then you sometimes you need to present or uh, your module on whatever module you are working then to uh, uh, present that in front of team or uh, you have to present in virtual mode like uh, we, uh, currently we are connected through virtual system right we are sitting at a different locations right so in that time you need to present it virtually so all the skills you will develop you need uh, all the skills comes under a soft skill 
and when you go through this internship you will feel automatically these skills are improved okay then you will get a live project experience exactly how we work in it because from you are see, uh, seeing it out from the outside okay when you go into it what kind of work we do and how work will be allocated to us how uh, how we do productive work how, how we provide the status to our teams okay how we manage our work what kind of documents we prepared while working in it what kind of if you are a de uh, developer what kind of code we write how uh, someone else is reviewing our code so it comes at that complete experience you will get when you uh, work on a live project because on live you will get a actual customer requirement okay you will get that requirement in a document you need to read the document you need to understand exactly what is asked then if you have any queries you can cross question on the document in different companies the document has a different name like sos or requirement documents then you need to work on your module then you have to test it on your local you have to integrate your code with a teams code you have to again publish it in some sit environment there you will be testing your code again you will promote that code in a production okay so what is this experience or I means whatever work we are doing in it same kind of work you will get and some kind of experience you will get when you work on a live project then you will get hands on on technologies because whatever suppose you are learning a java language you learn only concept and write a code right like what is the collection how to use hash map like uh, how to add elements in the hash map how to retrieve elements how to use hash set right so you will just write that small code snippet but if you want to gather there is one web page where if anyone is typing anything you need to check that particular keyword in the database and you have to fetch the result and show on the ui that complete integration you will get when you uh, that complete thing like a front end back end and database that integration kind like how to integrate front end with the back end or back end with a uh, sql uh, database that you will understand and you will get hands on exactly how it works because you will not understand it like it, when you integrate different modules you will find uh, face a uh, different challenges or uh, in when you write a code on your local it works perfectly fine but when you use the same code on some other system it doesn't work and most of us have already faced this issue when in their graduation or when they are presenting their project uh, on the day before presentation their code stops working or you set up when you try to set up a code on a different machines different laptops it's working on your system but it's not working on some uh, other system and why it happens because you know that uh, that whatever code you have written is compatible to your environment it's not compatible to other environment and such issues comes when you get experience or when you deploy it in production okay and you will understand it what challenges you face and how to resolve those challenges and you will get that experience and uh, you will get that hands on exactly which real time challenges you face when you go through this internship program uh, uh, once you complete project and uh, your project is approved that time you will get internship certificate and that internship certificate will help you to get a job okay also in the internship certificate whatever roles you will be working that role will be mentioned and technology stack will be there so choose it wisely like exactly on which uh, decide it uh, now only that on which technologies you want to work in the internship program okay don't use don't choose a cross technologies because tech stacks are different java tech stack is different python tech stack is different and if you are mentioning both tech stack in your resume it will not help also you cannot crack interview on two technologies choose only one technology you your full 100% on those technology and uh, with the technology suppose you consider java language you cannot get a job only on java you need to attach additional things like uh, you need to attach front end to the java if what is the front end like html css uh, angular react js you need to attach to the java then sql is mandatory whether you go in any field uh, whether you are a database developer middleware or front end you should have knowledge about uh, database so you have to learn database as well okay so these additional stacks you you can choose okay and choose it now only 
and uh, don't add cross skills in your profile it will create problem for you what you do in internship you will build a complete project in a team then you have to attend project sessions like uh, uh, what is the requirement you will be working on requirement and uh, technologies then you have to give your status every week like whatever you have done in that week whatever modules you have worked in a week you have to give its status in front of team as well as to j career hub you, you have to complete a given task along with your project you will be given some technical tasks you have to complete those as well then at last once you complete your project you need to give project presentation in front of a uh, our company resources some seniors will be allocated to you from the industry he will review your presentation and uh, project you need to uh, submit a code as well as uh, documents you need to create a ppt and that ppt you need to present once it will be approved then uh, this presentation you need to give in front of them at last and then only you will get an internship letter later is it clear till now? If it's clear, just raise your hand. Okay, great. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Sharad. Nishan, Sakshi, Nishiganda, Ritvik. Okay, yeah, thanks, Vijay. Great. So I will tell you about which internship programs available at J Career Hub. So duration of this program will be minimum two months to six months. It completely depends on your project and how fast your team completes the project. And this duration will be mentioned in your internship letter. So you can choose like uh, in um, how many months you need to complete that internship. Also, along with this internship, you can search job outside as well. If you get job, you can inform us with before uh, one week or two weeks. Okay. And you can continue your permanent job. Then this internship program is completely virtual. We are not asking you to come at some location. You have to, uh, the complete program is virtual. You will be working from home. You have to give your status completely online. Okay, then the beauty of this program is you can choose a technology stack like I mentioned earlier. You can choose whether you want to work on Java or Python or .NET. You can choose the technology stack. These three uh, to four technology stack we will give. The coding will be uh, mandatory for developer role and it's not mandatory for manual testers. Okay, then what types of internships available in J Career Hub? Actually, we have a free kind of internship where we will not asking fresher or uh, candidates to uh, for any charge. And there are paid internship. In paid internship means uh, uh, for this internship program, company is not paying you anything. Company will give you just uh, that environment experience and some uh, hands on on technology so that you will get experience on a actual live project okay and the, in this paid internship there are two car type of internship like a silver internship and gold internship so we'll give you details about all these internships so in co first column you can second column you can see it's a free internship second uh, third column is about a silver internship and last column is a gold internship so all these three internship uh, if you are going all these three internship any internship live project is mandatory then there will be weekly meetings. You need to provide your status. You will get a project assistance. Exactly how you can work, how you should divide your modules, how you have to plan for the next week, and your also whatever you have done in last week, you have to give that presentation or that status in the weekly meeting. It's applicable for all three kind of internship. Then once you complete your project, you need to give project presentation in front of industry resource as well as uh, some seniors from J Career Hub. It's there for all three kinds of internship. Also, once your project is approved, uh, presentation is approved, that time you will get internship letter and recommendation letter that you have actually performed this job. You have completed this project from this time on this technology. Your role is like this. It will be mentioned on your internship certificate as well as on the recommendation letter. Okay, so you will get in all three kinds of internship. 
then we will also providing you few additional services which will help you to while you will search a job okay like uh, while searching a job first thing you need a resume and cover letter okay and your resume should be ats proven resume when you are applying for uh, mncs or when you are applying from uh, uh, using a job search portal there are 15 job search portal which you can use for searching a job and uh, there you need to ATS Pro one resume. If you are going a face to face interview, then you can use the infographic resume. So before when you apply for a job, your resume reaches to the recruiter. Recruiter view your resume. That one page, two page document give you your complete summary, exactly what you have done till date. What is your skill set? What is your qualification? And how you present it? Okay. So that you have to showcase on your resume. And based on your resume only, it will be decided whether you will get an interview call or not. So how to create that perfect resume. So that information and we also review your resume cover letter. We will provide you suggestion, feedback and like that. You can work on it and you can create a perfect resume and cover letter. But this facility is available only in silver internship and gold internship. Okay. Uh, when you are, I mean, sorry, suppose your resume is shortlisted and uh, you will be before calling uh, you for the interview interviewer do your background verification because what happens this interview usually happens from 20 minutes to 30 minutes for freshers okay this is the ideal timing and in this 20 to 30 minutes it's really difficult to analyze you because one wrong decision can impact company okay and whatever you present in this particular timing it uh, uh, it's really difficult to make that decision or uh, also whatever you have mentioned in your resume because resume is just a one or two page document there we cannot give your full background like whatever i suppose you have done a java certification or python certification from which certification from where you have done that certification from local institute or from a reputed company like ocjp certificate certification is there only ocjp has value if you are doing this oh, java certification from local companies local institutes or some classes it doesn't have value Okay, but that will be, uh, will not get uh, recruiter will not get from your resume. So from where he will get that uh, details from your LinkedIn profile. So recruiter will go to your LinkedIn. He will search uh, do your complete background verification whether you have gap. Then when you have completed your twelfth, when you have completed your graduation after that whatever you did. Okay, so all the details you will get uh, recruiter will get from your LinkedIn profile. Okay. Next is your LinkedIn profile should be searchable. Like uh, suppose in our uh, session, uh, Amit Kumar is there, Vishal is there, Vishal Mandal, Vijay Patil is there, Sheetal is there, right? So suppose I, uh, if recruiter is searching you on LinkedIn, whether your profile is searchable, whether it's appearing in first three pages, if it's not appearing, you will not get interview call. That's why you need to optimize your LinkedIn profile. So how you can optimize your LinkedIn profile. So those details we will provide you only if you apply, uh, apply to silver internship or gold internship. Okay. It's not available in free kind of internship. Then we also provide a uh, job opportunities because ultimate aim of doing this internship is uh, you, it should be get used uh, while searching a job. It should be get used while presenting during an interview because most of the freshers interview happens on their project. Whatever you have done in your project, what is how much concept is the strong. Uh, and uh, when you work on project, when you implement project on your own, then you will get hands on on the technologies. Okay, I mentioned that we also provide job opportunities. Are you part of my telegram group, free telegram groups where I post uh, job opportunities from my HR network? Whatever job opportunities I get, I share those job opportunities on public groups. Okay, those are public groups and I uh, whoever ping me on uh, LinkedIn, I always provide suggestion. Many students call me and uh, have one to one discussion. They discuss, they talk about whichever challenges they are facing and I provide them a roadmap. Okay. So that guidance also, that career assistance also we provide, I provide and it's applicable until you get a job and it's uh, this career assistance, career guidance you will get in silver internship as well as 
gold internship already you mentioned that you are part of my public telegram group how many are part of my public telegram group just raise your hand okay amit is there vishal okay nishiganda kk satya satya kumar yuraj okay great snehal sakshi oh uh, most of you are already if you uh, if few i think uh, ashwini neha prajwal okay radhika they are not part so what i will do i will share my public group link with you you can uh, get that link on our whatsapp group okay you can join those channels there i share lot of job opportunities but on uh, the as uh, these are public telegram groups I sh- here i share only few opportunities almost you can say only 30% opportunities i share on this group but if you apply for silver or gold internship i will give you my private telegram group access okay jagar you have private telegram group access where we sh- share job opportunities i will give you the background okay what happens usually if uh, some opportunities gets posted it will be fulfilled in maximum 2 to 3 days if you are applying for that opportunity later okay you will not get response because in 2 to 3 days only companies get lot of resumes and if you are applying later it's of no use so those opportunity details also you will get in my private telegram group and i'm moving to next slide i am also providing a training sessions exactly like uh, tomorrow also i have one training session like how you can get more job opportunities okay and how we challenges you face and how you can overcome those challenges so you will get uh, and i conduct these sessions in every way at least one or two sessions will be there so that sessions you will get access when you apply for silver internship or gold internship then we also provide mock interview facility some industry experts will be conducting your mock interviews and will be giving a genuine feedback because when you are giving interviews in actual companies okay you will not get feedback from them even if you ask like what is going wrong they will not provide you the right uh, answer they will not showcase your you know, whatever wherever you are lagging they will not highlight and until you work on your mistakes you will not correct it you will keep repeating some mistakes and uh, in next interviews and you are just increasing the gap period okay and job opportunity you are struggling to get a job opportunity or struggling to crack interviews so to avoid that we are also providing mock interviews you you will get a feedback exactly where you are going wrong what are your strength then where for which which answers you gave uh, wrong wrong answers okay so that feedback complete feedback you will get when you go through the internship program uh, uh, silver internship or gold internship also there will be project related questions also there we will share that which questions we are uh, we are asking or we ask in uh, for freshers when we conduct uh, hiring in some colleges so those interview uh, those questions also you will get and what will how you should answer to those questions so that will that uh, fee, sir, uh, facilities you will get only in silver and gold internship then project training and query solving like suppose you are stuck and your team is completely stuck and you do are not understanding like how to move ahead or few modules are not getting integrated like your front end is not connecting to your back end but if you run your front end separately and back end separately it's working fine or few fields are not getting fetched from front end to back end or from back end from sql to the actual middleware okay so if you want to solve those problems so that facility is available only in gold internship because here we will be guiding you step by step and uh, your code reviews will also be there okay in in gold internship exactly how you need to follow coding standard how you should uh, write a code there will be separate session and those features you will get only in gold internship because in interview also interviewer will ask you some code snippet okay if you write a very generic code if you are not following the proper coding standard proper naming convention it creates a bad impression if even if you have written a correct code your logic is perfect because many students are there in hacker and coding ninjas or everyone has account they have built a very strong logic but they are not following the coding standard but if you want to stand out from the crowd then you need to follow proper coding standards okay and that coding what is that coding which are those coding standards you need to follow how to code how to create modules so all those details you will get in a gold internship 
now comes to the program fees so for free internship there are no charges okay because we are not providing any services completely we are just assisting you on your project and we will be giving you the certificates okay internship certificate but the criteria is uh, you need to complete your project and your project should be get accepted in at the career hub also from the industry expert otherwise you need to again rework on project until it get accepted after that only you will get internship completion letter okay then if you want to go through for the different services which we are offering okay uh, for silver internship it's great so how you can apply for these internships first is you need to fill one form i will share that form link in our whatsapp group uh, there uh, you need to give your full name your email id mobile number which you are using on whatsapp also linkedin profile url if you don't know what is linkedin profile url you just open your linkedin go to view profile then whatever url comes at in the url section just copy paste that url in the form also your preferred skills for applying this internship which skills you want to choose then whatever skills you are choosing you will get project based on that skill you will get team based on these skills so choose it wisely okay then uh, you can choose the technology stack as well Okay, I already mentioned that what is the technology stack then if you are we cannot uh, this silver and gold internship we can give any number of people but uh, for free internship actually it's not applicable for everyone even if you apply if your profile is getting shortlisted we will have one to one discussion with you and if you are shortlisted then only we will offer this free kind of internship to you because what happens our previous experience is that when we provide free internship students go, don't get serious we are already uh, giving our live project to them and if they are not performing it will we again have to work on those projects okay it's a headache because we are already spending we are uh, doing follow they do this uh, project for two to three weeks and later they skip it so this free internship we cannot uh, offer to everyone we will offer only for selected students who fits in our requirement who really need this internship certificate who are really serious about this internship okay and in this form you will get that option as well whether you want to apply for silver internship whether you want to apply for gold internship or free kind of internship that you can choose from a radio button you can register so that based on your technology stack we can allocate to you and some groups okay you will have your first discussion with your group you will be allocated some time there you be all will be meeting virtually on same zoom call whatever we are uh, tracking uh, okay the first session what we have to cover in first session what we have to cover in second third fourth the complete structure is fixed okay we will provide you that guideline exactly in first discussion what on which topic we need to discuss uh, like uh, in third discussion we do the requirement gathering a uh, requirement finalization okay and technology stack how we are uh, which technology stack you will be using in that project okay then our i think our 12th discussion is there and that you need to give presentation so there will be 12 at least 12 sessions will be there and every week okay so that structure is fixed and due to which we cannot start that in between okay we will start it only at from a uh, starting of every month okay uh, today also you got uh, session details on whatsapp so for every team we want separate whatsapp group will be created you whatever task we will be giving you that will you will get those task details in the whatsapp group also there will be some share drive share folders and a share excel sheet and whatever documents project related documents are there it will be kept in that share folder okay you will get that complete document at same place also you have to upload your project on the same location shared location so you will get that access once you make this uh, confirm your silver gold or free kind of internship okay now everything i have covered from my end now if you have any questions you just raise your hand okay i will unmute you i will allow you to talk and you can ask your queries 
अगर आपको क्वेश्चन पूछने हैं ठीक है देन यू कैन आस्क इन हिंदी ऑल्सो इट्स नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम ओके स्नेहल आई एम अलविंग यू यू कैन आस्क यूर क्वेश्चन ओके जस्ट अनम्यूट यूर सेल्फ एंड यू कैन आस्क यूर क्वेरी स्नेहल बारे में बताया जावा स्क्रिप्ट नहीं क्या सर उसमें जावा स्क्रिप्ट है ना ये एक्चुअली ये जो है ना ये प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस है ठीक है और जावास्क्रिप्ट जो आता है ना ये फ्रंट एंड में आता है तो उस आपको अगर जावास्क्रिप्ट पे भी करना है ना तो ये फ्रंट एंड का भी जो काम है दैट यू कैन मेंशन इन योर प्रेफर्ड स्किल सेट ठीक है जैसे उसमें ना आपको एक प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज भी मेंशन करना है आइर जावा और पाइथन आप चूज कर सकते हो ये प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज हुआ ठीक है ये मिडल वेयर में आता है फिर नेक्स्ट है फ्रंट एंड टेक्नोलॉजी तो फ्रंट एंड टेक्नोलॉजी में व्हाट इज योर प्रेफरेंस तो एस टी एम एल सी एस एस और जावा स्क्रिप्ट ये मैंडेटरी है ठीक है आप अगर फुल स्टैक का प्रोफाइल अगर आप बिल्ड कर रहे हो ना तो आपको ये स्किल मेंशन करना ही है लेकिन इसके साथ अगर आपको फ्रेमवर्क चाहिए जैसे मुझे एंगुलर पे काम करना है या रियक्ट जेस पे काम करना है या कोई दूसरा फ्रेमवर्क डालना है तो देट यू कैन मैंशन लेकिन जावा स्क्रिप्ट आपको विदाउट जावा स्क्रिप्ट यू कैन नॉट बिल्ड अ वेबसाइट राइट यू कैन नॉट बिल्ड अ फ्रंट एंड If you are working on web project, okay, okay, sir. Sir, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, yeah, thank you, sir. I'm removing your permission. Okay. Uh, Satya Kumar, I'm allowing you to talk. Okay. You can unmute and uh, you can uh, uh, आपका क्वेश्चन पूछ सकते हो Satya. You can unmute and uh, you can ask your query, Satya. Uh, सत्य आप अनम्यूट कर सकते हो और क्वेश्चन पूछ सकते हो हाँ सत्य कुछ क्वेरी है आपको आ, ये सेशंस के बारे में प्रोग्राम के बारे में नहीं नहीं सर कुछ क्वेरी नहीं है ओके okay. ठीक है चलेगा आपको कुछ हाँ हाँ बोलिए तो सर मैं अभी एम एस सी कंप्यूटर कंप्लीट कर दिया हूँ ओके कंप्लीट हो गया है ओके सर मैं फ्रंट एंड में वर्क करना चाहता हूँ ओके चले चलेगा मैं तो आप वो एस टी एम एल सी एस एस और जाओ स्क्रिप्ट एटी परसेंट आता है ऐसा कर सकता हूँ मैं सर तो अभी कुछ अभी कुछ टेक्नोलॉजी सीखना पड़ेगा या उसका डाउट है अच्छा तो अभी ना मैं आपको इंडस्ट्री का ना सिनेरियो बताता हूँ सत्या ये होता क्या है जैसे आप एमएनसी में जाओगे ना तो एमएनसी में ये सेपरेट पोजीशंस यू विल गेट लाइक फॉर फ्रंट एंड दे विल बी हायरिंग अ सेपरेट डेवलपर हु इज एक्सपर्ट ओनली इन फ्रंट एंड जैसे एस टी जावा स्क्रिप्ट इसमें है ना इसके लिए वो सेपरेट बंदा हायर कर सकते हैं ठीक है ठीके? और ये सिर्फ लेकिन आपको अगर आपका चांसेस एम में लगता है तो आपको वो इजिली मिल जाएगा बेस्ड ऑन योर करंट स्किल सेट लेकिन दिस इज नॉट अनारियो विद स्मॉल स्केल कंपनीज और जिनका एम्प्लॉय स्ट्रेंथ ना बहुत कम है अराउंड थाउजेंड भी होगा ना तो वो सेपरेटली uh, कोई पर्सन सिर्फ जो फ्रंट एंड पे काम करेगा वो अफोर्ड नहीं करते हैं ठीक है वो क्या करते हैं फुल स्टेक का पर्सन है ना हायर करते हैं ताकि क्या होता है कि कस्टमर का रिक्वायरमेंट uh, हमेशा फ्रंट एंड का नहीं रहेगा बैक एंड का भी रहेगा कभी कभी आपको बैक एंड में भी चेंजेस करने होते हैं जैसे जावा पे काम करना है या एसक्यूएल में भी कुछ फिक्स करना है प्रोसीजर या ट्रिगर में ना कुछ चेंजेस करने हैं जैसे एक फील्ड उन्होंने ऐड किया तो दैट टाइम यू हैव टू बी एबल टू फिक्स दो इश्यूज ओके तो इस टाइम वो क्या करते हैं इस वजह से वो फुल स्टेक के जो स्टूडेंट्स रहते हैं ना जिनका प्रोफाइल फुल स्टेक है तो उनको ज्यादा प्रिविलेज मिलता है उनको ज्यादा इंटरव्यू कॉल मिलते हैं तो आई वुड सजेस्ट यू इफ यू आर जस्ट स्टार्टिंग यूर करियर राइट सो यू कैन कीप दिस दिस फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी ओके एंड इट विल नॉट टेक मस्ट टाइम ऑलरेडी यू आर फ्रॉम अ कंप्यूटर बैकग्राउंड कंप्यूटर साइंस राइट सो ऑलरेडी इट्स अ कवर्ड इन यूर सिलेबस one programming language you can mention any programming language using which uh, it will help you to get job easily it will get help you to get interview calls because what will happen uh, if front end se aap agar uh, job search karne jaoge na to interview call bahut kam aate hain okay that that is my experience yes so you what you can do if you are interested in front end to aap future mein ye technology stack choose kar sakte ho once you enter in it lekin jab tak aapko at least first 
आपका जो ड्रीम जॉब है वो मिलता नहीं है ना तो आप वो फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी रखो कि आप डेटाबेस पे अभी इंक्लूड करोगे आपको नहीं आता है तो आप सीखोगे फिर जो प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज है एक प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज आई एम नॉट टेलिंग ऑल ओके एक प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज एटलीस्ट बेसिक स्टफ जो है वो सीख लीजिए वो आपके रिज्यूमे में एड उसके ऊपर हैंड्स ऑन ले लीजिए सो देट यू विल स्टार्ट गेटिंग इंटरव्यू कॉल्स बिकॉज जब तक इंटरव्यू कॉल नहीं आते यू विल नॉट गिव इंटरव्यू यू विल नॉट गेट दैट अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर इंटरव्यू Okay, and this internship also, I will, I would suggest you that instead of focusing only on front end, try to get uh, your hands dirty, okay, on uh, this uh, uh, back end as well as database, okay. Ah, or कुछ questions हैं सत्या? नहीं सर. Okay, yeah, thank you. If you have any queries, you can ping on uh, Jay Career WhatsApp uh, number, okay. then kk i am allowing you to talk you can unmute yourself kk and ab aapka kuch question hoga na to you can ask aap sirf unmute kar dijiye aapke wahan pe na left side mein unmute ka button hoga nahi sir question nahi question theek hai chalega aapko kuch queries bhi hoga na to you can ping on whatsapp or directly you can give call on uh jay career hub sir uh, number okay you already yes, have the number right yes sir okay yeah great thank you uh, sharad uh, uh kuch question hai aapko no nice, sir okay okay yeah thank you uh rajesh uh, rajesh aap uh, unmute kar sakte ho aur aapka jo bhi query hai na you can ask हेलो सर कैन यू प्री इंटर सीरीज रिक्वायरमेंट इज इंटरव्यू ना सर रिक्वायरमेंट जो है में उसका क्या जी इंटरव्यू अगर भी दे सकते हैं ना हम जे फ्रेशर लोग ऐसा Yes, 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 yes. आप अगर गोल्ड और सिल्वर के लिए जा रहे हो ना तो वी विल प्रोवाइड यू जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज एज वेल बिकॉज इफ यू आर पार्ट ऑफ हाँ हाँ बोलो ना बोलो हाँ तो ऑलरेडी आपको है ना एक दूसरा जो प्राइवेट ग्रुप है जहाँ पे ना मोस्ट ऑफ द जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज आर शेयर्ड यू विल गेट दैट एक्सेस और वहां पे भी आप डायरेक्टली जॉब जॉब अप्लाई करना शुरू कर सकते हो वी विल प्रोवाइड यू दैट जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज एज वेल प्री uh, इंटरशिप में और, और क्या है सर ठीक uh, है मैं ना एक मिनट आपको क्या करता हूँ uh, हाँ इसका स्क्रीनशॉट लिया है क्या प्री इंटर्नशिप में uh, नहीं एक मिनट सर मैं ले लेता हूँ हाँ हाँ इसका स्क्रीनशॉट ले लीजिए फ्री इंटर्नशिप ये सेकंड कॉलम है सिल्वर इंटर्नशिप इज थर्ड कॉलम एंड गोल्ड इंटर्नशिप इज लास्ट कॉलम सो फ्री इंटर्नशिप में प्रोजेक्ट प्रेजेंटेशन और सर्टिफिकेशन मिलेगा और लाइव प्रोजेक्ट वीकली मीटिंग स्टेटस प्रोजेक्ट असिस्टेंस यू विल गेट प्रोजेक्ट प्रेजेंटेशन आपको प्रोजेक्ट कंप्लीट होने के बाद करना पड़ेगा और प्रोजेक्ट uh, आपका अगर बाद में ना जो भी करेक्शन आपको बताया है वो आप सारे करते हो प्रोजेक्ट का प्रेजेंटेशन देते हो आफ्टर दैट यू गेट इंटर्नशिप लेटर एंड रिकमेंडेशन लेटर ओके सर थैंक यू वाला ही पार्ट हाँ ये वाला ही पार्ट ही फ्री इंटर्नशिप में है जैसे आपने जॉब हाँ तो जैसे आपने अभी जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज ना तो जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज इसमें कवर नहीं इसमें मतलब फ्री वालों को आ, ये जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज नहीं मिलेगी वो सिर्फ सिल्वर और गोल्ड वालों को मिलेगी ठीक है एंड यू कैन टेक वन मोर स्नैपशॉट ओके यू कैन टेक दिस स्नैपशॉट ओके सर ओके ओके ट्रेनिंग सेशन ये मॉक इंटरव्यू जो है ना तो इट विल बी कवर्ड इन सिल्वर इंटरशिप प्रोग्राम Internship program will be from minimum two months and maximum six months. Okay. Okay. हाँ अगर इस period में ना आपको job लगती है तो you can skip that internship program. Okay sir. Okay. Okay. Yeah okay. okay. great. So Rajesh, I'm uh, removing your permission. Amit Kumar, uh, Amit, आपको कुछ question है क्या? आपको मैं uh, आपको access दिया you just Unmute yourself and you can ask your query. Amrit, sorry, Amrit Kumar. Amrit, you can unmute your self and then you can ask your question. Hello. Hey, hi, Amrit Kumar. Yeah. Yes, sir. My name is Kavita, sir. Yes, 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 sir
Okay, yeah, Kavita, you are asking, uh, you are using it as uh, someone else account then. Okay, Kavita, huh? Yes, sir, I have one question. Uh, no, no, no problem, Kavita. Okay, now, yes, you have some query? Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Sir, you are doing an interview, sir? Yes, yes, there will be mock interviews. Okay, at least three mock interviews we provide. ठीक है और मॉक इंटरव्यू में मतलब टेक्निकल मॉक इंटरव्यू प्लस एचआर मॉक इंटरव्यू दिस इज अ वन सेट ओके और ये मॉक इंटरव्यू के बाद ना आपको ये पता चलेगा कि आप कहां पे आपके मिस्टेक्स हो रहे हैं ठीक है जैसे अब मैं कोई क्वेश्चंस आपको पूछ रहा हूं टेल मी अबाउट योरसेल्फ व्हाट वेयर यू आर गोइंग रॉन्ग आई विल गिव यू कंप्लीट फीडबैक इफ योर स्किल सेट इज अ जावा देन इफ आई आस्क यू क्वेश्चंस रिगार्डिंग अ कलेक्शंस ओके आर हैश मैप Tell me how we insert element on hash map and how we retrieve element. How uh, just explain its internal implementation. So, आपने जो भी site refer किया है तो same uh, uh, answer you will reply right in the interview. But if it is whether it's fit uh, or not, whether it's right or not, so that feedback you will get after interview. So those mock interviews also included. You will get three mock interviews and it's applicable only in. जो सिल्वर इंटर्नशिप है और गोल्ड इंटर्नशिप है वो इसमें ही मतलब वही स्टूडेंट्स को मॉक इंटरव्यू देते हैं और ये वन टू वन मॉक इंटरव्यू होगा ऑफलाइन में कुछ भी नहीं है ऑफलाइन आपको कहीं पे भी जाने का जरूरत नहीं है तो ऑफलाइन में एक्चुअली क्या होता है की एक्सपेंसिस बढ़ जाते हैं आपको किसी लोकेशन पे ट्रेवल करना उसके बाद फिर से वापस आना फिर उस लोकेशन पे जाना है तो आपका फिर वो कॉस्ट भी बढ़ता है राइट तो इसलिए ये सारा का सारा प्रोग्राम जो है ये ऑनलाइन है और एक्चुअल में आप जैसे बोले कि इंटरव्यू मतलब आप रियल कंपनी में भी इंटरव्यू कराएंगे ना तो वो वर्चुअल ही रहेगा या फिर ऑफलाइन रहेगा वो नहीं नहीं रियल कंपनी ये हम सिर्फ मॉक इंटरव्यू हमारे कंपनी में लेते हैं और यू विल गेट अपॉर्चुनिटीज हम आपको अपॉर्चुनिटी देंगे कि ये ये कंपनी में जाके आप अप्लाई करो ठीक है फिर वहां पे आपका प्रोफाइल और ये प्रोजेक्ट एक बार सेलेक्ट हो गया ना तो वो कंपनी में से जो बंदे होंगे दे विल कंडक्ट योर इंटरव्यू वो हम हम नहीं कंडक्ट करेंगे वो पूरा का पूरा प्रोसेस आपका और वो कंपनी का रहेगा बट दैट अपॉर्चुनिटी वी विल प्रोवाइड यू थैंक यू सर ओके थैंक यू विकास यू कैन अनम्यूट एंड यू कैन आस्क योर क्वेरी विकास यस सर यस सर गुड मॉर्निंग सर हे गुड मॉर्निंग विकास सर एक्चुअली मैं पूछ रहा था सर कि जैसे मैंने सर जावा सीखा हुआ है सर जावा जावा मुझे आता है और सर डाटाबेस में मैंने माय स्कूल पे काम किया हुआ है सर Okay. और मतलब फ्रेमवर्क मैंने हाइबरनेट सीखा हुआ है सर तो सर मैं okay. ये पूछ रहा था सर जेडीबी से हाइबरनेट का आइडिया है मुझे अच्छा से तो सर मैं ये पूछ रहा था मैं सर ऐसे जावा डेवलपर सर मैं बैक एंड के लिए जाऊं या फ्रंट एंड के लिए जाऊं सर आप फ्रेशर हो राइट जी सर तो बैक एंड में मत जाइए फुल स्टैक का प्रोफाइल क्रिएट कीजिए ठीक है ऑलरेडी यू हैव मींस अ गुड टेक्नोलॉजी स्टैक ठीक है क्योंकि ये टेक्नोलॉजी स्टैक जो है ना जावा एट उसके बाद हाइबरनेट जेपीए और डेटाबेस और इसके साथ आप फ्रंट एंड में कोई भी टेक्नोलॉजी चूज कर लो इधर आपको फ्रेमवर्क में नहीं जाना है फ्रंट एंड फ्रेमवर्क में नहीं जाना है तो एटलीस्ट बेसिक स्किल्स एस टी एम एस स्क्रिप्ट ये एड कर दो ताकि आपका प्रोफाइल फुल स्टैक का बन जाए और फुल स्टैक को ही ज्यादा अपॉर्चुनिटीज मिलेगी आप बैक एंड में जाओगे ना तो बैक एंड को अपॉर्चुनिटी सिर्फ एमएनसी में है स्मॉल स्केल में ज्यादा अपॉर्चुनिटीज नहीं रहती क्योंकि ज्यादा उनके वो वैसे प्रोजेक्ट नहीं रहते और वो ऐसे कैंडिडेट प्रेफर नहीं करते सर मुझे एस टी एम एल और सी एस एस भी आता है सर जावा स्क्रिप्ट भी मैंने काम किया है सर तो बेसिक आइडिया है मुझे सर उसका तो सर मैं ये पूछ रहा था जब मैं इंटर्नशिप करूंगा तो सर ये इंटर्नशिप के दौरान मुझे मतलब ये सीखने को मिलेगा सर मतलब इंटर्नशिप के दौरान यू विल गेट अंड्स ऑन ऑन दिस बिकॉज इफ इट इज अ रिक्वायरमेंट दैट यू नीड टू क्रिएट अ थ्री पेजेस जैसे एक टीम आपका पांच लोगों का टीम है तो आपको तीन पेजेस डिजाइन करने हैं तो तीन पेजेस का पूरा का पूरा ओनरशिप आपका रहेगा ओके okay? और इसमें सपोज uh, कुछ फील्ड है आपको वो कस्टमाइज करने हैं जैसे किसी ने कुछ रॉन्ग एंट्री डाला जैसे मोबाइल नंबर का फील्ड है एंड इफ समन इज ट्राइंग टू एंटर कैरेक्टर इन दैट तो यू कैन यूज अ जावा स्क्रिप्ट फिल्टर देर ओके यू कैन एड यूर जावा स्क्रिप्ट कोड सो दैट नो वन कैन एंटर द कैरेक्टर देर ओनली If you are entering numbers, it will show on the display. ठीक है तो वो हैंडसन आपको वो मिलेगा ठीक है और आपको सेम चीजें दूसरों टीम दूसरे टीम मेंबर्स को भी असाइन होगी तो आप जो सीख रहे हो यू कैन शेयर विद देम 
आपको किसी मतलब ईमेल फॉर्मेटिंग का आपको कोड मिल गया तो यू कैन शेयर विद देम लाइक ईमेल फॉर्मेटिंग आप कैसे कर सकते हो और हमारा क्रॉस ये भी होता है क्रॉस टीम कनेक्शन जैसे आप एक टीम में हो आपका टीम का नाम सपोज सपोज थर्टीन नंबर का टीम है आपका और कोई टेन नंबर का टीम है तो आपको जो आपने फाइंड आउट किया ना तो दैट कोड विल बी शेयर विद अदर टीम एंड यू विल गेट इफ यू आर स्टक समेयर लाइक आपको किसी कोड का ना आपको जावा स्विप का वो कोड मतलब रन ही नहीं हो रहा है You will get a help from other team members who is there in the different team. ठीक है तो ये सीखने का जो है ना बिकॉज लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स आर अवेलेबल ऑन यूट्यूब यू जस्ट नीड टू लर्न हाउ टू मेक यूज इट इन यूर प्रोजेक्ट ओके वी आर नॉट टीचिंग यूर लाइक हाउ टू यूज जावा स्क्रिप्ट हाउ टू यूज सी एस एस बिकॉज इट्स ऑलरेडी दे आर ऑन यूट्यूब यू जस्ट नीड टू फाइंड आउट विच वेर टू मेक विच कोड ओके that that guidance we will give you and uh, if you are stuck if it is not working anywhere then you will get uh, directly help from the industry expert okay who is uh, have experience on the front end and whatever trainers we have they are having more than 8 years of experience in in it so sir jaise aap jaise jaise sir main profile pe list ek developer dal raha hu sir mm hmm तो सर जैसे आप प्रोजेक्ट करा रहे हो तो आप जैसे बोल रहे हो कि जैसे जावा स्क्रिप्ट पे या फिर मैं जावा पे सर एक पार्टिकुलर मतलब सेक्शन मिल जाएगा मुझे काम करने का ना सर या तो बैक एंड या तो फ्रंट एंड सर तो फिर सर उसपे उसपे सर मैं प्रोफाइल पे कैसे मतलब ये जस्टिफाई करूंगा कि मैं फुल स्टेक डेवलप करूँ सर वहाँ पे आपका नेम के नीचे यू कैन मैं रोल नेम ओके फॉर विच रोल यू आर लुकिंग जॉब जैसे लिंकडिन पे होता है लिंकडिन में आपका नेम के नीचे जो फील्ड है ना वो एक्चुअली जॉब रोल का है ठीक है वेर यू कैन मेंशन व्हाट इज योर रोल यू आर लुकिंग फॉर देर यू कैन मेंशन मैं जावा फुल स्टेक डेवलपर फिर आपके जो स्किल सेट है जस्ट मेंशन वर्टिकल बार एंड मेंशन दो स्किल्स ऑन विच यू आर मास्टर सेम काइंड ऑफ प्रोफाइल यू हैव टू क्रिएट इन मैंशन इन यूर रिज्यूम एज वेल नेम विल बी देर इन बिलो यूर योर नेम जस्ट मैंशन फॉर विच जॉब प्रोफाइल यू आर लुकिंग ताकि आपका सर बेसिकली मुझे बैकएंड 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 पे ज्यादा सर मुझे जाना है सर ये इनिशियली आप ये जो माइंडसेट है ना विकास कि आपको बैकएंड में ही जाना है तो एज अ फ्रेशर ये माइंडसेट मत रखिए आप जावा फुल स्टैक का ही प्रोफाइल बनाइए ताकि आई यू विल गेट योर फर्स्ट जॉब फिर फर्स्ट जॉब में आपको जैसे प्रोजेक्ट का रिक्वायरमेंट होता है ना तो फ्रेशर के लिए मोस्टली तीन साल तक ना जो कंपनी बोलती है यू हैव टू वर्क ऑन दोज At least here you will be getting that chance like uh, whatever skills you have you will be getting hands on on those okay but बहुत सारी कंपनी में मतलब एम एनसी में ये प्रेफर नहीं करते कि जो भी उनका रिक्वायरमेंट होगा ना यू नीड टू वर्क ऑन दोज दैट रिक्वायरमेंट अभी आपका इंटरेस्ट बैकेंड में है तो वंस यू विल गेट एटलीस्ट थ्री ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस लेटर यू कैन स्विच टू बैक एंड ओके लेकिन यस लेकिन एटलीस्ट इस स्टेज पे ना ये आप ये मतलब हटा दीजिए कि मुझे सिर्फ बैकएंड पे काम करना है बिकॉज देर आर वेरी लेस जॉब अवेलेबल ऑन द बैक एंड एंड इफ देर इज अ करियर गैप सपोज इन मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स दे हैव करियर गैप आफ्टर द ग्रेजुएशन और दे आर फ्रॉम द डिफरेंट बैकग्राउंड मैकेनिकल आपका ये कैसे फिर आपने जो ग्रेजुएशन में पढ़ा है और जो आई में रिक्वायर्ड है वो स्किल बहुत डिफर करता है तो इन केस में क्या होता है आपको वो सीखना पड़ता है ठीक है तो इसलिए मैं बोल रहा हूँ कि जो जिसका ज्यादा डिमांड है ना वो आप सीखो ताकि आप कहीं पे तो फिट हो जाओ एंड वन यू स्टार्ट ये एटलीस्ट फॉर थ्री इयर्स डोंट फोकस योर सेल्फ आई आई विल डू ओनली दिस थिंग ओके बिकॉज प्रोजेक्ट में भी है ना मैं बोला कि आई टी इज वेरी डायनेमिक ओके एंड इवन इफ यू हैव यू गेन अ टेन ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस स्टिल यू हैव टू वर्क ऑन अ कोडिंग अगर आपका डेवलपर का प्रोफाइल है क्योंकि आपका टेक्निकली ऐसा प्रोफाइल हो जाता है या मैनेजर का प्रोफाइल हो जाता है स्टिल यू नीड टू कोड ऑन सम मॉड्यूल्स फिर आप उस टाइम पे ऐसे नहीं बोल सकते कि मुझे बैक एंड पे काम करना है जो भी काम होगा ना यू हैव टू एक्सेप्ट एंड यू हैव टू डिलीवर यूर वर्क और ये जो स्किल होता है ना ये अडेप्टेबिलिटी स्किल होता है तो ये भी इंटरव्यू में जज होता है ओके बिकॉज इफ यू अगर इंटरव्यू में सपोज आपका वन टू वन इंटरव्यू हो रहा है और आप सेम चीज जैसे आपने मेरे साथ डिस्कस किया यू विल हाईलाइट इन योर इंटरव्यू लेकिन सिर्फ मुझे बैक एंड की जॉब चाहिए तो वो इंटरव्यूअर पे क्या इंप्रेशन जाता है कि ही इज नॉट एडेप्टेबल टू द टेक्नोलॉजी ही इज नॉट एडेप्टेबल टू द चेंजेस ये ऐसा रॉन्ग इंप्रेशन जाता है ओके सो सो दैट यू कैन फिक्स इट इन दिस मॉक इंटरव्यूज वेर यू आर गोइंग रॉन्ग यू विल गेट यू द जेन्यून फीडबैक 
और सर एक क्वेश्चन था सर सर आपने कहा कि कोडिंग विल बी अवेलेबल फॉर डेवलपर रोल ओनली सर तो सर इसका मतलब ये समझ में आया सर सॉरी बिकॉज़ आई मिस दैट समवन केम हियर कोड प्लीज रिपीट सर आपने इन ये सर मीटिंग के बीच में कहा था ना सर कि कोडिंग विल बी अवेलेबल फॉर डेवलपर रोल्स ओनली यस सर इसका मतलब सर थोड़ा यस एक्चुअली ये जो डेवलपर रिलेटेड रोल्स है ना ठीक है जैसे प्रोग्रामिंग का हो गया तो वहां पे कैसे कोडिंग मैंडेटरी है विदाउट कोडिंग यू कैन नॉट वर्क ऑन दोस प्रोफाइल्स राइट यू आर पाइथन डेवलपर जावा डेवलपर यू हैव टू कोड बट देयर आर फ्यू जिसमें कोडिंग नहीं लगता है जैसे स्क्रम मास्टर का रोल हो गया उसमें कोड नहीं लेता है टीम मैनेजमेंट का वैसे उनको एक्शन परफॉर्म करना होता है ठीक है या सपोर्ट का रोल हो गया है तो जिसमें आप है ना किसी प्रोजेक्ट को सपोर्ट कर रहे हो ठीक है उसमें फील्ड वगैरह कुछ एंट्री करना है या सिर्फ इश्यूज फिक्स करने हैं तो वहां पे प्रोग्रामिंग नहीं लगता तो उस टाइम उस प्रोफाइल के लिए आप अप्लाई कर सकते हो ठीक है या सर्वर मैनेजमेंट होता है जैसे आप किसी एडब्ल्यू एस पे ना सिर्फ सर्वर का हैंडलिंग कर रहे हो कि आपको सर्वर न्यू सर्वर क्रिएट करने हैं उसके कॉन्फ़िगरेशन करने हैं ठीक है तो ये सर्वर मैनेजमेंट में कोडिंग से रिलेटेड नहीं है ये उसको सिर्फ आपको जो उसमें वो प्लेटफॉर्म पे ना क्या क्या फैसिलिटी फैसिलिटीज अवेलेबल है और उसको आप यूटिलाइज कैसे कर सकते हो तो ओनली दैट नॉलेज यू विल यू हैव टू वर्क एंड यू हैव टू सॉल्व दैट प्रॉब्लम और वट एवर रिक्वायरमेंट यू आर गेटिंग ठीक है तो आई विल शेयर दैट माई पोस्ट ओके ये वेर यू विल गेट विच रोल्स आर अवेलेबल इन आई टी ओके आई विल स्टेट रोल्स ओके तो देर देर यू सर मैं वो जो व्हाट्स एप ग्रुप है ना सर जे करियर है कौन सा मैं एडिट नहीं हूँ सर आह उसमें आह व्हाट्सएप में आप ऐड नहीं हो क्या ठीक है आई विल आई विल ऐड यू इन द व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप ओके ओके विकास यू कैन पिंग ऑन द द जे करियर है व्हाट्सएप नंबर ओके जस्ट मेंशन दैट प्लीज ऐड मी इन द व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप ओके सर सी Satya, do you have any question? I'm uh, loving you to unmute yourself. Okay, Satya, you can unmute yourself and you can ask your query. No, sir, there is no query. Okay, there is no query, right? Okay, great. Try to answer all questions, but if still you have any queries, you can ping on J Career WhatsApp number. Okay, or you can uh, ask for some available slots where you will answer. Uh, you can connect on the call and. We will be answering your queries. Okay. Also, I will be sharing the form link in the WhatsApp. You just fill that form, and we will connect with you. Okay. Then I'm closing this session. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for joining. If you have any queries, anytime you can ping me on LinkedIn.